Max Republic is definitely Metallica's best record. I'm going to agree, basically for all the same reason that you said, which I have a feeling that like we're going to end up agreeing on most of the things for this list here. But I'm going to agree, but I want to bring up something that I liked. Um, I don't remember the author of this particular book, but I have a top 500 albums of heavy metal. And basically what it was was a big census um, done through the heavy metal community. I don't know how... Um, and what the book was was an entire was the list as it came back from fans. Mm-hmm. What accompanied each spot was the author's opinion about that. And like you know, it's like number one of all time heavy metal album was uh, Master of Puppets. And you know, he gives his little spiel in there. I think number six or so was Ride the Lightning. But the author says that he feels Ride the Lightning should have been number like above Master Puppets. Not number one uh, out of all metal, but above Master Puppets because of the fact that they were not as raw, they were not as refined, they were a hungry band. And I like that I like that mentality because he gives that mentality to a couple of other bands, including mm-hmm. um, Iron Maiden with Peace of Mind. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. you had just gotten off the um, Number of the Beast tour, so you got the popularity, you got the fire, but you're not hitting that same refinement that came with Power Slave. You're somewhere in that transition, and that transition kind of gives a little bit of an element of magic. Kind of trying to still find yourself as far as musicians and, exactly. and where you want to go with your sound. Exactly. Like you're not you're not you're you're, you're stepping away from like the, the the thrash of Kill 'em All, but you haven't quite hit the point where you're like super refined and you're like a machine. You're yeah. kind of you're kind of, you know, still oiling the wheels a bit. And I like that idea. Um I don't oh, fully agree with it but I just wanted to like put that out there because it's it's definitely a good it, Ride the Lightning was a fantastic album oh yeah there's no doubt about that and it was definitely a a, a, um, a, a precursor to the things to come yeah I think I think one of the things the biggest things about the sound of Master of Puppets is that it really took away as far as vocally um, they took a lot of the reverb out mm-hmm. uh, which is very typical of thrash Especially at that at that time, I mean, a lot of reverb, like this guy singing in an echo chamber. Mm. They took that out and they put James Hetfield's growl. He's not a growl like a death metal growl, but his his guttural sound right in front of you. And You're I talking think, about Master of Puppets, Master of Puppets, okay. yeah. And I think that kind of sealed the deal for that record because it really drove all the songs was mm. the vocals on top of everything. Yeah. So I mean, I think that was just a big departure of what the sound was at the time, mm. and really helped drive that record. Yeah, because I don't think I personally think that like you know, Ride Lightning is pretty close behind Master Puppet. Oh yeah, perhaps not topping it, but it is pretty goddamn close behind it. So I think those two are pretty much on par as far as their best material. Yeah.